What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's TCAS, and today we're playing some Battle Royale. I won one game so far, and I'm trying to go 12 0 at least some point this year. Uh, if you guys have been watching the channel for quite some time, uh, you'll have tuned into my live streams and seen that I am one of the worst Battle Royale players to ever grace the earth. And uh, I gotta win somehow, and I'd like to keep that streak going, so we're gonna record this video in hopes that we get to 2-0 and, and eventually 12-0. So hope you stick around for the ride. Let's dive into this game right here, right now. So here's the lineup that we're working with here. I'm pretty happy with it. We got Marco Gonzalez starting the game today. Chris Taylor leading off. Mike Ischemski in the second spot. Uh, I can't read the freaking number three batter's name, so we're going to skip him. We got Mike Trout, the greatest of all time in the cleanup role. Tom Murphy, Leo and Diaz, Chipper Jones, Eugenio Suarez, and Gonzalez rounding it out as the pitcher for the number nine spot. So it looks like we're the home team, and we're going up against the St. Louis Browns, or Road to Run, as this guy is called. He's, he's playing on PS4. We're going to go ahead and start him off with strike one, hopefully, and that is not a spot that we want to go for for the rest of the game. Uh, I'm happy that we're starting off 0-1. At least, uh, you know, we're not going to fall behind, have to throw a pitch right down the middle, potentially get our shit sent to the moon. So two quick pitches, and we got one out. This game is going in our favor so far. Trevor Story stepping up. He's batting 4 545 over 1,000 OPS. This guy has a gold bat already. I didn't even know he can get a gold bat yet. Or it's an aluminum bat of some sort. It looks like an Avengers bat or some shit. Uh, but looks like he's pretty good. From Based on my brief observation as he lines this one over to left field. Base hit already. Uh, he came off the bag. He came off the bag real quick. I could have gotten him there. All right, sinker to Frank Thomas. Get the ground out, double play, potentially. Gonzalez has that big leg kick, so I got to watch out because this guy has 87 speed here. I don't want him to steal the bag on me. I don't know, even, I didn't even mean to try to go over to second base. And I didn't know that Trevor Story was that fast. That's insane. Let's go with the curveball here. Quick pitch him here. Curveball did exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, and two now to Thomas. Should I come at him with the cutter? I'll come at him with the cutter. After I try to pick this guy off, I'm wasting my time with the pickoffs. There's just no way it's going to happen unless he's diving back. Uh, I'm actually just trying to do a quick pitch, but I accidentally pressed the, uh, the circle button, and subsequently it goes over to first base. So that pitch missed. I'm going to try to go at it again, and I can't hit the meter, but we do get exactly what I wanted, the double play, and let's go, fellas. It's exactly what I wanted. Love to see it. Quick three outs right there, despite the base hit. Goobas, you're going down, buddy. Let's get some runs on the board. All right, so Dodger legend Chris Taylor stepping in. He's rocking a 667 batting average and over 1,000 OPS. Pretty sure I, I somehow list the 667. Uh, apparently, that's really hard to do. 667, 667, 667. I don't know why I had to repeat that so many times. That was a beautiful curveball, by the way. Jesus Christ, I swung out of my shoes. Taylor rocking an 80 contact, 80 power to the left side. So I'm hoping he can do something here as he grounds this one over to the second baseman. He's not even hustling over to first, which I hate about this game. We gotta, we gotta be able to press a button that allows that runner to start running fast as hell because there's times where errors are made and you can beat it out if you're just hustling down the line. Mikey Stremski up to bat now, and he takes this one over to the left center field. That one's in the gap. Left fielder's getting under it, and he's there. I did not think he was going to be able to get under that in time. Uh, good contact by Yaz, though. Was that good PCI or was I early? Okay, that was good. Uh, decent PCI. I don't know. Trevor Larnack up now, and we're getting under that late. Beautiful PCI right there. If I would have been on time with that, that would have been a solid hit. But that's a quick 1-2-3 inning. And uh, I should have warmed someone up in the pen, but of course, you're watching TCAS play, so I'm going to forget that. We're going to hop into this inning with uh, Gonzalez still on the bump. He's only thrown eight pitches, so we should be okay, but I'm going to get someone warmed up just in case. Let's go ahead and get Aaron Bummer warmed up and Ryan Tapera. These guys are my two studs. Hopefully, they can keep us in this game. I may only, or depending on how long it takes for them to warm up, Okay, if he's going to swing at stuff like that, then I don't have to worry about them coming in anytime soon. Eugenio Suarez batting 579. Uh, that's good. But he's going to pop out over here to my buddy at third, Eugenio Suarez. And somehow, Eugenio is just going to pretend like he can't reach over slightly to the left to get the ball from going over the fence. So that's complete ass by him. As soon as I can, I'm going to get rid of him. 
I don't think I have anybody that I can get rid of him for. So unfortunately, he's going to have to stay there. But a 1-2 count now to the other Eugenio, who is way better right now, in my opinion, unless I strike him out. All right, two bad pitches in a row. He's probably expecting me to throw a strike, but I'm going to go with another one in the dirt because that's how I roll. And that's not working for me, so now we're going to have to go right down the middle with the cutter, or up and in, rather. Let's see if this works. Oh, and a Eugenio could not rob a Eugenio of a hit Eugenio. Bad jokes, bad jokes. We're coming at him with the curveball, hoping it falls into the zone. And it's right to, in this case, I would think David Fletcher, but it's uh, whoever's playing second. I don't even know my team. I'm just so used to the Angels playing. Tommy Edmund up, he's batting four hundred which for BR standards is not the best, but definitely not the worst. It just depends on how long this guy's had his team for or how many times he's used them in a game. As we get that curveball inside, I'm going to make Eugenio dive into the floor for that because he couldn't freaking reach over for the fence to get that foul ball. That was less than an inch away from his glove. And that was a nasty curveball. Good take by Edmund there, or in this case, the, uh, the gentleman who's playing as Edmund. I don't know him. Ooh, nice cutter, buddy. Pitcher getting tired. He's only got to throw a couple more pitches to get out of the inning. Hopefully. Come on. All right, whatever. Uh, let's come at him with the cutter. Alejandro Kirk on deck. It's a full count. And that's right down the dick. Getting sent out to the moon. And no chance of bringing that back in by the left fielder there. Let's see. How far was that? I don't care. Road to run. This guy's too pumped. Dude, press X. People take too long to get out of their home run sequence here. Alejandro Kirk batting 333. And a nasty sinker getting in there for strike one. One out here at the top of the second. Gonzalez just gave up a dinger. And Eugenio cannot stick with it. It bounces off his glove, and this guy is safe. I hate Eugenio Suarez right now, dude. I hate how you have, like, it's Eugenio. It's not, there's no A in front of it. Ah, I, he's done. I'm done with Gonzalez. I shouldn't have even let him come in this, this long. We're going with Tapera. We're going with the righty. All right, let's go with the cutter. Let's see if we can get the double play here with Andrew Jones in the batter's box. Typically, Andrew Jones is able to take pitches to the moon. At least that's been my experience with him. But uh, I don't know if that's the case with everyone else. Nasty two seam here from Tapera. Let's go outside with the four seam and hope for him to ground out. And that's right down the dick. But hope, thankfully, he gets under it and pops it up. Yeah, he's going back on it. And a perfect throw to the cutoff, man. Add a kid, Yaz. Practicing fundamentals, I see. Dylan Carlson batting now with that aluminum bat of his. Uh, the runner at first has 55 speed, so I'm not really going to worry about him trying to go. And that cutter's nice and low, so that's good. Let's come back at him with a fastball up and in. Looks like he has that blue spot there, so it's a weak spot. He doesn't he doesn't hit it hard, but it's enough to, uh, to get a base hit. He came around first a little wide. Let's see if we can get him at first. Obviously not. Don't know why I always think that we can do that, but, you know, got to try, you know? So he's got Jordan Montgomery stepping into the box. Probably going to get pinch hit for, right? So Clutch Davis is coming in to bat for him. And back to the quick menu. You'll love it. You'll love how many times people go into the quick menu when you're playing BR because, you know, you really need that extra five seconds to do whatever it is that you got to do to win the game. All right. 0-1 count. Second inning. Two outs. And we're... We got him 0-2. Pitchers already getting tired despite only having thrown seven pitches. These pitchers and BR are weak as shit. That's all I have to say. So what do I got here? We got a two seam. Let's go up and into Chris Davis with the two seam and hope he doesn't crush it. And we strike him out. That's a W in the book. We got two more chances to try to come back and win this game. Let's hope we can do it. All right, so he's bl he's bringing in Blake Trinan. We got the GOAT, Mike Trout, stepping up to bat. And I'm hoping that some damage can be done here because if it's not done by Mike Trout, I don't know who it's going to get done by. So Trout beats the shift here. Thankfully, I thought he was out for a second. All right, he's got 83 speed. Do I risk trying to have him steal? Oof, big, big swing by Tom Murphy. Not good. Uh, it looks like Trying is not paying attention to me. Or by me, I mean Mike Trout. Mike Trout, get back to the bag, you idiot. I don't know what made you think that you could possibly... I don't, I don't know what made you think that that wasn't going to be a pop-out, but unfortunately, you thought that. Just get back to the bag. Yeah, but Trina's not even paying attention, so Trout's going to go. And we're going to send him back. We're going to send him back, because I couldn't be patient 
and not swing at a freaking pitch. And now he's gonna. Now he knows that I'm gonna try to steal. So I'm gonna keep Trout at first. But he wasn't paying attention for the longest time. Chipper Jones batting a thousand for me somehow. As we pop this one out to the pitcher. That's a quick one, two, three inning after Trout's weak hit. Into the top of the third we go, losing one to nothing. And I'm keeping Tapera in. I got uh, another guy ready in the bullpen. And oh, geez, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? And Trout, why do you take forever to throw the ball, buddy? Why? All right, time to bring in Aaron Bummer because this entire situation is a bummer, to say the least. Trevor Story, coming up to bat. We're gonna go ahead and throw up and in with the heater. Or, sorry, with the sinker. Now we'll go with up and in with the heater. And he doesn't budge. So that's not good. Got a runner at second with no outs. He could extend his lead. And I think he might be able to do that just right now. Oh, dude, I could have gone to second and he would have been hosed. He would have been hosed, but I did not do that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and walk Frank Thomas and hope to Jesus that we can get a double play. All right, Eugenio back up. He grounded out earlier. If we can get him to ground out again, that's literally the best case scenario. And we do just that. Call me the Nostradamus of getting double plays because we just got another one. Called it. All right, it's our last chance. Eugenio Suarez, the number eight batter with an 83 batting average. Blake Trinan still on the bump. He's only thrown five pitches, so it makes sense. Looks like he's going to go with another pitcher. I'm crossing my fingers that it's not Araldis Chapman. Okay, cool. He's sticking with Blake Trinan, so that's good. Let's tie it up here with a dinger or a base hit up the middle. That's, that's going to work. That's going to play big time. And you know what? I know just the guy to put on the base. So we're going to put Renfro in as the pinch hitter. In addition to that, I'm hoping he brings in a lefty. If he brings in a lefty, he's playing himself. I guarantee you... Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to switch pitchers again. I'm going to warm someone up too, just in case. We may be going into extras here, and I didn't plan on it. Uh, and then I need a pinch runner for Mr. Eugenio, because Eugenio is slow as shit. Justin Dean, welcome to the squad, buddy. Fast as hell. Oh, good, good take, Blit or Hunter. I'm going to second. And that's ball two. Thank you, Jesus. Safe. Let's go. Tying run aboard. Oh, we fouled that one off. We fouled it off. I'm going to take a lead here. I'm definitely going three. And that ball's inside. And we get there. Let's go. We got the runner at third. Hunter Renfro with a 3-1 count. This ball has to be down the middle. And we pop it up. Pop it up foul, thankfully, but dude, I can't go down on strikes here. I'm literally sweating profusely right now because I want to win this no, game. Oh God! No, I did not, Blue. Oh no, God, please, no, no, no! The check swing in this game is absolutely broken. It's absolutely broken. Unbelievable. It's gonna walk Chris Taylor and try to induce a double play. All right, you're gonna do that. I'm gonna play dirty, man. I'm playing dirty. You're gonna walk my guy and try to get me into a double play. And of course, they're putting in Chapman. Of course, my arch nemesis. Well, guess what, dude? Guess what? Get ready for this. Dun dun dun, bump bump bump. Bum. Damn it! I had it there too. I had it. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Oh my god, get there, get there, get there! Let's go! Runners in scoring position! Larnick up to bat. He's gonna walk Larnick now. And you got Mike Trout, dude. Mike Trout. You're walking to get to Mike Trout. Hoping that he grounds into a double play. Well, he's going to strike out. I'll tell you that because I cannot hit against Chapman for the life of me. This guy must have gone and looked up my YouTube channel and found out that I can't hit against Chapman. And I even guessed earlier he's bringing in Araldis Chapman. I didn't even know that he was on the team, but I just guessed. And of course, of course, Tom Murphy batting now. 0 for 1 today. 
We got the bases loaded. If I leave them stranded, I'm gonna be so upset. And I'm swinging at garbage ass pitches like these ones inside with the slider. And then he's gonna throw heat down the middle. All right, he goes inside with that one. That's fine. This is the most intense BR game I've ever played. Son of a bitch. That would have been called the strike too if I didn't swing at it. Come on, man. No! I can't believe I even made contact with that. Unbelievable. All right, well, we tie up the game. I gotta get someone warmed up again, just in case Strickland, I guess. Bring in Trevino. I did not expect this BR game to go as long as it has. Justin Dean is playing third base. Uh, I guess put Jed there. Yeah, that's a good call. Cool. Happy about that. So we got the runner at second. I just have to hold that runner at second. Pop up to third. One down. All right, let's go. Top of the fourth, one pitch in. Alejandro Kirk now. Let's go up and into him. And that's right down the middle. We don't want to leave any pitches there for the rest of the game. Let's go out and away. Come on. Again, right down the middle. I do not think my left fielder is going to get there, but he's coming in. He's charging. And he's able to get there. All right, two quick outs, only three pitches from Trevino. If I have to, I may keep him in to pitch some more. And Andrew Jones stepping in. Sky paused for no reason. Love to see it. And that one's way outside. Understandably so. Another no reason pause. He, he's got to be warming somebody up. Otherwise, like, what are you doing? Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and walk you. Waste your, your pinch hitter. And then Dylan Carlson stepping in. I, even, I didn't even need to walk Dickerson. I just wanted to fuck with him. And Chapman's next. So I, I'm considering walking... Carlson, he's gonna put in Guriel, dude. This is no, no bueno. Not happy about this move. Let's go, Strickland. Clutch or Trevino? I don't know. One of those dudes. All right. So now he's got two people off the bench in the field. And Lewin Diaz. Who's the guy at second? That's a ball. I need to check who's the guy at second right now. Murphy. Do I have another catcher? I gotta have another catcher, dude. Substitutions. I don't have another catcher. Shit. Who's... Ah, oh, dude. This is rough. I'm pretty... Sh I'm almost certain... Ah, oh, this sucks. I have to keep Murphy out there. That blows. Alright, whatever. Lewin. Come on, buddy. Knock this run in! Dude, if I'm ever on time for one of those 102 mile an hour fastballs. Fuck you. You suck. All right, I'm gonna have to just hold off here for another inning to get Chapman out. Cause he's just unbelievable. I can't hit him for the life of me. All right, you're gonna walk Chipper now. It's an interesting move. So Jed Lowry stepping in. I could bunt. I'd like not to. That's a bloop. That's a bloop. Let's go. Let's go. Get there. We did it. We walk it off to win the game. 2-0 in Battle Royale. Let's go. Jed Lowry with the bloop single. Tom Murphy coming around to score. We beat Araldis Chapman. Oh, my God. 2-0. The walk-off win of the century. 2-3. Two to three, or 2-1. Two to one, Three hits. San Diego got five, but I shut them down. Seven people left on base for them. Let's go. You'll love to see it. Hell of a game. GG's to this guy. Mr. Gooba. Jed Lowry, one for one with an RBI. Lou Trevino, beautiful inning of no-hit baseball. He walked a guy, but it's all good. We get the W. Hell of a game. Chapman, kick rocks, buddy. You're done, Zo. That was one hell of a game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe we were able to walk it off. Looking forward to going 12-0 at some point. We're 2-0 now, so that's always good. Thank you so much for watching the episode, fellas. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, go check out my MLB The Show, Road of the Show, 
series that I got going on, as well as checking out my live streams whenever I do go live. Uh, it's random, but I typically try to go live every day, so make sure you guys tune in. And I also have a podcast called Mike Up the Halo, where we talk about nothing but Angels baseball. Go check us out on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Mike Up the Halo. That'll do it for today, fellas. We'll see you next time.